Hi, Slater Crusaders. Welcome back to our special COVID-19 Made in China. I want to get back to our guest, Stephen Mosher. I say get back to him. We talked to him last week. Generous still with his time. He's the author of Bully of Asia, Why China's Dream is the New Threat to World Order. Mr. Mosher, how are you, sir? I I'm good, Mike. Surviving. I'm glad you're here. And yeah, well, yeah, and thanks for your insight with China. Um, let's talk about manufacturing real quick, real quick, like made in China, right? When and why did China become the center of the world's manufacturing? And, and when did we become so dependent on China for our supply chains? Why did that happen? Well, it happened because we took our eye off the ball. It happened because we deceived ourselves about uh, what China was and where it was going. Uh, under the misrule of the Chinese Communist Party, China uh, wants to dominate the world. Uh, it has for a long time. I mean, look, back in 1958, Chairman Mao, people remember the, the, the late Chairman Mao Zedong, one of the great mass murders of human history, in 1958 set up an Earth Control Committee. An Earth Control Committee, Mike. Of course, he then went into the uh, Great Leap Forward famine, the Cultural Revolution. His plans were put on hold for 30 years. But it's always been the goal of the Chinese Communist Party not to just dominate China, but to dominate wider parts of the world. We made the mistake of letting them into the World Trade Organization, all right? Mm -hmm. and, and for 20 years, they've been cheating on trade, cheating on currency, stealing intellectual property, uh, selling cheap Chinese-made goods in our markets. And the only reason they're cheap is because they're made by serf labor. And now I would add to that, they're made by slave labor as well because the poor Tibetans and Uyghurs and Kazakhs in the concentration camps mm -hmm. are busy working 12-hour shifts seven days a week, making goods for export to the United States. So back to your question, uh, China was let into the world community on the understanding that they would moderate, that they would play by the rules, that they would join the international community, become a responsible player. How irresponsible is it to release a deadly virus on the world? That's the height of irresponsibility. But China's plan yeah. for 20 years has been to move all manufacturing to its shores. China would become the new hub of world's manufacturing, and the rest of the world would be reduced to this. We would be suppliers of raw materials to China's factories. We would supply the food for China's workers, and we would, like zombies, go to the big box stores and buy all these Chinese-made goods. It was a kind of semi-colonial view of the world. China would yes. be the dominant power, all manufacturing would be in China, and all the rest of the world would simply be supplying that industrial machine. You know, right now, a third of all the world's goods are made in China. I think we need to turn that around and start making things in the United States again. Yeah, what's amazing is there's no way that was by accident or just happened to be no. this where we, now we have a third of the... Because there's a lot of places we can make cheap stuff, but there's a reason why it's in China, and that had to be, I think on your point, it was intentional. It was an intentional effort by China to make that happen. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.